morning everyone and welcome to our backyard. Today's video I would like to talk about attracting hummingbirds and the reason I would like to talk about that right now is because we are getting close here in in southeast Texas we're getting very close to having the hummingbird migration start. And during the hummingbird migration Millions of hummingbirds fly through the state of Texas in late August, September, and October. And the males come first, followed by the females, and then followed by the juveniles. My name is Crystal, and I garden south of Houston along the Texas Gulf Coast. And we are in zone nine in very hot and humid weather with clay soil. So hopefully if you're thinking about attracting hummingbirds, you've thought about what plants they're most attracted to. And I have planted in my yard plants that attract hummingbirds. In fall or summer for us, this is in the throes of summer for us, it's hot and humid, very different plants attract hummingbirds and are just prolifically flowering right now as opposed to the springtime. What you see here is Camellia patens or firebush and firebush attracts all kinds of pollinators and is a wonderful plant for this area here in Texas and it not only produces nectar but it produces berries and the berries are very beneficial for wildlife and birds so these are some of the berries that have already been produced. And of course, the nectar flowers are perfect for hummingbirds. They love firebush. This is wonderful for summer, fall, and early winter for us. And, and actually until we get a frost, if we do. In springtime, I've shared with you that the coral honeysuckle is a fantastic flower. This starts flowering for us in March. That's wonderful for the spring migration to come through. And it flowers throughout the summer and into fall, but not as prolifically as it does in, in, um, in this early springtime for us. So hummingbirds actually prefer nectar flowers. They love salvia. This is a salvia amistad that you see here, this beautiful purple color. They love salvia. And this happens to be salvia amanti. Hummingbirds love all different kinds of salvia. Another plant they particularly love is porterweed. Porterweed happens to be in the verbena family. This is my purple porterweed. And they come to this all throughout the day. I love porterweed. Not only do the hummingbirds come, but so do butterflies and our native bees. This is not a native plant to Texas, but it is very Texas friendly. I will have porterweed in my butterfly and hummingbird garden from here on out. And the flame acanthus is a bush, a native bush that, that the hummingbirds just go crazy over. And it is flowering really nicely now. So I have made videos on what is very attractive to hummingbirds in our area. I also, in the description of this video, I am going to include a link to 
a web page that I used specifically for Texans on what to grow in your yard to attract hummingbirds. We will get hummingbirds year round. And so it's important to think of the flowers that you can plant in your yard that they're especially attracted to for all different times of the year, not just one specific time in the year. And that website really details a lot of the plants that are wonderful for you to consider. And that's what I heavily used when I started planting for hummingbirds. And of course you can put out hummingbird feeders. I've mentioned, I think it was last year I created the video where this tray feeder is my absolute favorite and purely because it's the easiest to clean and I don't have bugs and wasps and bees get into the holes that the hummingbird uses and there is an ant moat in the center so you fill it with water and you don't have problems with ants trying to get at your sugar water so I am going to include a link to the at the top of this video detailing and showing you a lot of the different feeders that I have used but this is my absolute favorite certainly use what works best for you in your location. I purchased mine through a store called Wild Birds Unlimited. And this is called a high perch hummingbird feeder. And I absolutely love these feeders. In fact, it's the only type of feeder that I use now. And you know I plant Cardinal Climber, the vines, specifically for these red blooms because the hummingbirds love <laughs> that bloom. And it is a cross between a red morning glory and a red cypress vine. And of course, hummingbirds love the color red. I know some folks don't like to plant red in their yard, but they're also attracted to other colors, like your pinks and your purples and, and your oranges and bright colors. But red is their absolute color that they're most attracted to. And while you're considering what you want to plant in your garden, definitely consider native plants because they bring the bugs and the tiny little gnats that hummingbirds feed on. And so they aren't just nectar feeders. They, per they go after a lot of the little bugs that are in the yards. And so your native plants and your, you planting specifically for hummingbirds will bring in these little gnats, these little bugs that the hummingbirds absolutely love to catch and eat. So when you're considering what to plant, this happens to be a native Turk's cap and hummingbirds love this flower. Think about the different locations that you can plant. I have, this happens to be a Terenia or wishbone flower. I see my hummingbird come here every day. This is close to my patio. I can see her off either my patio window or my kitchen window. So you can think about placement and think about different areas of your garden that offer protection, that offer water, that offer shade. Hummingbirds will reward you by staying in your yard and feeding. This is an Esperanza, a yellow Esperanza that you can see. I've got a native bee here that's been going to the Esperanza. Interestingly, if they can't get into the cup of the flower, a lot of them will raid and poke a little hole down here at the base to get at the nectar to circumvent that pollination if they can't get into the flower. 
my whole garden is planted with hummingbirds and butterflies in mind. This happens to be a shrimp plant. I don't have many of these flowers flowering right now, but hummingbirds love to visit the shrimp plant and the little flower is underneath the bract right there. I don't see hummingbirds going to Terenia, excuse me, to um, my Mexican sunflower or Tithonia, but butterflies love this flower. But I have heard some of you state that you do see your hummingbirds go to this flower. I think because I have so many different flowers that they are attracted to and that they it isn't as difficult probably as it is to get into the little tiny little petals in the terenia they like to go to flowers possibly that have a little bit easier access So I'll be fertilizing this week. So I have flowers hopefully in peak bloom as the hummingbirds start to come through. So having flowers, having water, they do like mists. If you have a mister or put your sprinkler on, they do like that. And then of course, having your hummingbird feeder got a couple out right now I'll need to set out a few more once we start getting all the hummingbirds coming through I have started to see them so I've seen two three four but not the 50s 60s that I'll see during the migration and so it's just a tad bit early yet for us but when I do fertilize, I'll definitely get some pretty good flower production. As you know, I don't do a lot of fertilizing. This happens to be a blue chiffon rose of Sharon hibiscus. And pollinators and hummingbirds do like this. This is a yellow cestrum that they like. You can tell, I mean, these tubular Tubular flowers is generally, tubular shaped is generally a hit with hummingbirds. My cigar plant, I have four of them, aren't flowering beautifully like typical. So I think they got a little bit too dry and I have been watering them, increasing their water and I do need to fertilize so hopefully these will be in peak production also because this is a definite hummingbird favorite at this time of year and I have shared with you that my hummingbird that stays with us year-round absolutely loves the Ruselia. and I am not a huge fan of the way this plant looks it is airy it is very unique but she just absolutely loves this thing it's called I think one of the common names is a firecracker plant I will have Ruselia in the garden just because it is a wonderful hit Ugh, not a huge fan though of how it looks but there's a case of you know here's an example of something that I will plant even though it's not a huge fan of mine, but my hummingbirds love it, so I will include it in the garden. I recently went to my favorite garden center and picked up a couple of things, and one happened to be this firebush. And this firebush flowers a little bit different color than what I have. Mine are more orangey. This one has a red outer tone and the inside will be an orange. I thought it was fun to have something a tad bit different that was striking. And the nursery actually had this planted out. It was covered in blooms and it was very eye catching. And with firebush, you saw mine 
they do like full sun and they grow pretty tall they can grow four to five feet tall and four to five feet wide so they're prolific flowerers and now I have a second color I love it so I'm curious what you see your hummingbirds right now flock to it depends on what area of the country we're in with what plants and flowers are just thriving in this August heat. And so share with us in the comments what you're seeing. In a post I had, we've had folks say everything from their Esperanza to their Turk's cap to porterweed. Those of you that have been planting porterweed and salvia have, have shared that there's been so many sightings, lots of different plants and flowers that they are attracted to. So share with us in the comments what you're seeing. And I will share with you the website that I used when I first started planting for hummingbirds and butterflies. There's one of my hummingbirds that just loves porterweed. I'm glad she made an appearance <laughs> at my video. Sometimes she'll come out when I'm watering and she'll just perch right next to me. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun to be a part of nature. It's fun to observe nature. It's fun not only to observe butterflies and hummingbirds, but all different kinds of pollinators native creatures to your area. So thank you for joining me. Finish out here on my blue porterweed that she was at. I hope you all have a wonderful day today. I thank you for joining me and I hope to see you again soon.